Hello from the end of the world. In Argentina, they call it El Fin del Mundo. It's the southernmost city on the planet, located at the tip of South America. We're two retirees hooked on travel. Follow us on our journeys around the world. After two amazing days in Antarctica, we're heading to the Falkland Islands. And we were greeted with an amazing rainbow and very strong wind. It's a tender port and it's way too risky for us to disembark. So after another day at sea, we're at Cape Horn, famous for having some of the most dangerous and challenging waters. It's kind of neat. I mean, how often do you get to go around the Cape Horn? <laughs> very few people I think do. So we're all out here taking pictures. Uh, here's Zarko, he's trying to get some close-up pictures. And that's Cape Horn Lighthouse. I'm surprised the pilot, he's being delivered to us on a small rubber Zodiac lowered from a Chilean military ship. And it's extremely calm. You can't feel anything in the ship, obviously, but the guy with the backpack in the middle, he's our pilot. I mean, you see all these pilot boats coming up onto the ship, and here we are, like, in the middle of nowhere, and we have this Zodiac with our pilot. Amazing. That German guy there on the sailboat, he's also going around the horn. Calm waters and a beautiful morning in the Beagle Channel on our way to Ushuaia. In every port, I'm excited to see what's behind that door. So let's see. Wow. Hello, Ushuaia. We're sharing the dock with two expedition ships. Ushuaia is the gateway to Antarctica and is a popular departure point. Hello. Uh, what kind of tour is this? What is the van or what? In, in a van, yes. In a van, how many people? Like 17 people. 17 people in a van. And how much is? Is it uh, $80? $80 it's a, a person? Or it the entrance fee? Per person. Yeah. Per person, exactly. Yeah, yeah. How much for private? Private? Uh, I should ask, but would you mind? It's $80 a person for 17 people, so it's going to be probably prohibitive to the private, okay? Okay, too much. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's all right, thank you. No problem. Oh, here's a small boat. Patagonia Adventure. Oh, I saw pictures of that. Someone that jumping places for uh, like, me. Well, how about this one? What is this? This is a small boat. This is a small boat. This is bad. Huh? That's a Zodiac. Might be fun. Might be fun. The weather is nice. Where does it go? Uh, we go to first in a car. Uh -huh. uh, we leave from Ushuaia to Puerto Almanza. Okay. It's one hour, 15 minutes. 15 okay. minutes. And then we cross Paso Guarani with this boat. Okay. To Isla Martillo to see penguins. Yes. Um, okay, so we didn't, we didn't pre-book our uh, boat tour on purpose. 
because all I could find online were these bigger ones. It looks almost like a ferry is packed. And us as photographers, videographers, we wanted a small private, not private, but a small boat. And uh, so we booked with a small boat here at the dock. And we're leaving at 2.30, it's a four hour trip. And we're gonna be in a small group of about 20. We'll be able to get up on top, take pictures, video, whatever we want to. So that fits our us more than the, the big packed ferry type boats. And tomorrow, we're gonna see penguins in this small boat. Gee, I hope they're loading more than one boat. Wow. This is awesome. Yeah. We're having fun. It's great. <laughs> Incredible view. It's gorgeous. You can see the mountains and our ship, the town. I just love the mountains in the backdrop with, with the snow. It's beautiful. I know they told us to take this trip mainly for the, the view of the town and the mountains, and I can see why. Wow, it's just covered. Look at the, the birds, the seabirds. Must be a lot of fish right there. In the distance is the same boat that we're on. It's really pretty out here. Okay, we're approaching the lighthouse and there's a few rocks right before you get to the lighthouse. And it's full of birds. Okay, we're at the lighthouse and there's full of birds and the side of the rock there is covered in seals. They're all over the place, the seals. I must like it out here. Oh, there's all kinds of birds. Look at them all. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, well, some of them are like, there's sea lions and then there's sea seals. See the big gray ones? There's a baby. Look at the little baby. Wow, oh, there's tons of birds. Wow. Oh, they're snorting and I don't know if they're playing or fighting. I think they're fighting. Oh, they're kind of ornery, aren't they? <laughs> that big guy, he's he's chasing the other one. Look at all the birds. Wow, it's loaded. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're close to the rocks. It's great. Look at this. We're right next to the rocks. Can't beat that. <laughs> he got us really close. You can almost touch him.
That's a lot of birds. Oh, it stinks. If you pay attention, uh, between the cormorants, there are a couple that are full black. Those are the babies, actually. I mean, he's getting us right up to the rock. It's great. So we, we, we just had a stop at this island and we're gonna walk around the island. There's all the different kinds of colors, different flowers, different kinds of plants. From a distance, it literally looks like there's nothing on the rock. It looks like rock. It looks like a desert. There's all kinds of plants covered. These particular plants grow one millimeter a year, and they're extremely important because what they do is they, they grow on the rock, and then they produce soil and then things can grow. So that's how all of these plants are growing because of that plant. Uh, it does look interesting, almost like a coral. And she even said that the path our path with the dirt and everything that were the soil we're walking on was created by that plant. That's a great. We're, we're climbing up on the top of this this island for some incredible views. That's so nice. You're, you're kind of standing on this cliff, and it's a perfect place to get your picture taken, and everybody is. Heading back to town, maybe we'll do some shopping and have dinner. So far, it's been an amazing day. There was like a, a taxi that offered uh, like three hour tours for a hundred dollars for the whole car. This is the city tour and it's 10 dollars per person and it'll take you around the city if you want to get on it. Well, it's a small town, we can walk it. It's kind of cute, but we're going to walk it. Unbelievable, huh? We made it. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. They're street dogs. He's trained. Yeah, he gets it out. <laughs> it's actually a very cute dog. Yeah, it is. Very cute. Don't you like this dog? Yeah. It goes quite a ways. Yeah. Oh, they got pretty fancy. With that, that gym. Look at his beak. Yeah, English. <laughs> really pretty. Look how it looks very Bavarian, doesn't it? We don't have to. It looks more like just a department store. Regular department store, yeah. They're street dogs. <laughs> Don't upset the, the apple cart. <laughs> Let's go check it out. They're staying warm. Oh. Hey, there's the Patagonia right there. Is that the real Patagonia? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> huh? Okay, I wanted to buy a Patagonia vest because I thought it was from Patagonia. We're in Patagonia. Made in Vietnam and it was $220 for just a very thin, small vest. <laughs> it's supposed to be duty free here too, but that's not what I was looking for. <laughs> 
Patagonia's just a brand. Yeah, Patagonia's just a brand. I think those kind of flowers can handle the cooler temperatures. We asked a local which restaurant is the best in town. So we're having dinner at La Stancia. This is how they cook their lamb. Looks like you just put it on too. I've never seen a restaurant fill up the minute the door opens. Like it's 100% full in like five minutes. And I'll tell you what, when you go to a restaurant and it's completely packed, it's a good sign that it's got to be good. And all the locals are ordering big bottles of wine and they order the all you can eat with huge platters of meat, a variety of every kind of meat you can imagine. And everybody's having fun. So we're, we know we're in the right place. It doesn't feel commercial. It doesn't feel touristy. There's nothing fancy about it. Like we don't have candles on our table and the lights aren't dim. Oh my God. No way. That's our steak? No. Hopefully it. I don't know. I don't think we can eat that. <laughs> You're right. Don't order any more. Are you serious? This is a sit alone steak and this is a stand alone steak. There you go. So we sent it back and had it cooked a little bit more. And he delivered it to our, our uh, table on its own little grill. Like uh, in Argentina, they have a, what's called chimichurri sauce. This sauce, I don't know exactly what this one is. I'm used to the green one, but this is really good. Crazy. This has to be the hot spot of the town. There's a line out the door. When, when you have a, a restaurant that fills up immediately and then there's a line out the door, you know there's something going on. They're doing something right. We just couldn't eat it. We ate until we couldn't eat another bite. It was, it's, it, we had a great experience. I mean, it's not the same as the kind of steak that you're going to get at home or in the States where it's all marbled steak and stuff like that. But it was the experience. Now we know how the... Argentina people like their food, their meat, how they eat, big bottles of wine, Malbec. Yeah, you know what? It's only nine, it's nine o'clock. It's late. Yeah. It feels like you should be in bed. <laughs> I know. It's so weird. It's really weird. It feels like it should be about, like, it should be like about seven o'clock. No, the sun. Look at the sun, Zarko. It's still high. Nine o'clock in the it's a nice promenade right here. See it? Yeah. I wonder how far it goes. <laughs> well, we're heading back to the ship after an unbelievable full day of adventure, relaxation, eating, drinking wine, and we get to get up and do it again. Tomorrow is going to be a hard day. Tomorrow we're going to have so much more fun, too. It's a golden hour, nine, okay, the golden hour and here is 9.30. <laughs> the sun's just now kind of going behind the mountain. It's not sunset, but yeah, 9.30 is the golden hour in Ushuaia. Look at that, National Geographic Explorer. That is awesome. Good morning. It's our second day, and now we're heading out to see the penguins. The city is surrounded by stunning landscapes of the southern Andes, the Martial Mountains, and the Tierra del Fuego National Park provide breathtaking views, and it's extremely popular with hikers. You can book a bus or a train tour to see the park. I'm not sure what you'll see considering the park is huge at 360 kilometers. If we had more time, I would love to do some hiking to explore its natural beauty. 
This little community is Puerto Almanza, home of a few crab fishermen and the start of our penguin adventure. So we just got here. This is the Beagle Channel and we're going to take a zodiac, this zodiac right here, we're going to take out and look at the penguins. We're on the zodiac. Go look for the penguins. Right here. They're going to go in the water. They're a little bit scared, I think. I don't know. Aren't they cute? They're eating. There they go. Oh, cute is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how they waddle. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Wobble. Yeah, it's a little waddle. Oh, they just put their head in and go. <laughs> I think they have a mate for life. Yeah, they made some life. Look at this little guy up here. He's kind of fat. Go fast. Where's the father over there? Uh, always the, the the father and the mother uh, he, take care of the baby. Because he has the red beak, so he's the, the adult. That is adult. Okay, I see. This and these guys are babies. They have soft little furs. Oh, oh okay. I have more, <laughs> four years old. Uh -huh. And you found the couples. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. I didn't think yeah. they're going to be that cute. Oh, the cormorant. Uh, I see him, the cormorant. Yeah. And dive uh, 70 meters deep. Oh my god. Seven. Seriously? No. 70 meters. Can dive more. Really? Oh my god. Come to the lake. Uh, who can dive more? Okay. There's the penguins. There are 6,000 couples here. 6,000 couples? This one. Okay. That's a lot. started to came here at, in the 70s. Look at this one, Sarko, coming down the hill. See him walking down the hill? <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, yeah. Real little sardines. He said that they can swim 40 kilometers an hour to get fish. That's fast. Little bullets. They're like a torpedo. I know, they're really fast. It's just like no effort at all. They just fly. Fly in the water. Yeah, that's the black uh, neck hormone. The black hormone. Look fast this week. Yeah, look at their nests in the walls in the, on the rock there. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. Right on them. It's uh, yellow here. Uh -huh. And the sea lions sometimes eat them. Oh. It was, you make uh, with the truck, you make rock tree, then the chain. I know I'm having a ball. This is awesome. <laughs> it's crab, huh? Yeah. It's duro. They are going to pinch it. The pinch it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ushuaia passed all of our expectations. If you're new to our channel, check out our other videos from previous destinations. If you like our content, give us a like. Feel free to comment and share. There's a lot more to come. We're going around the world on this ultimate journey and we enjoy taking you along with us. Next, we're cruising through the Chilean fjords and we'll visit Puerto Arenas and Valparaiso. See you there.